What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at, I'm super excited to bring this to you guys, it's the complete easter egg for the Exo Zombies game mode, part of the Outbreak map here that was brought to us with the Havoc DLC. Now this is something that not a lot of people have full guides up yet, but I wanted to bring you guys something here. And before we get started, a huge thank you to my good buddy Frexile, this gameplay in the background is actually his, I was having some issues on my end, I couldn't record it, I couldn't finish a few steps the couple times that I tried stuff like that so despite knowing exactly what to do here some of the factors didn't really work out in my favor but he stepped in and helped me out with the remaining pieces that I need to get you guys this video so definitely be sure to go check him out his link will be down in the description below so thank you once again to him but getting right into the actual tutorial of this first we're gonna be starting in the spawn area this is probably the easiest part that you can do of this you want to go over by the crash damage from the downed warbird and whenever you look in between the one crevice behind some of the wreckage you will see a black box from the downed warbird that was a part of the exo zombies cutscene from the exo survival bonus wave that included zombies but you're gonna want to pick that up and then take it over to the research facility and as you can see there are a bunch of computers and consoles here you're gonna want to go over to this area and then actually hold X and it'll actually take the black box off of you but it will prompt you to say that you need more security clearance to get any further so this is is where it starts to become tricky this is where it will now take a lot of time and dedication to finish this out in one sitting but you have to find all four security cards one for each character you can do this solo and you can do it with four people I'm not entirely sure if you can pull this off with two or three but if you're doing it solo or with four people you need to find each security card and each step if you're doing it with four people is actually going to be character specific if I'm not mistaken now as well I do believe you can do this out of order so you can do them at different points in time it doesn't have to be linear but the first one we're doing is the janitor key card which is going to be in the holding area that can be found right off of the main hub now what you want to do with this one is you want to go over to the holding cubes you can look down and actually see where the card is but there will be a metal piping that you're gonna have to shoot with a lot of ammo to make it slide down and actually adjust the positioning of it for this but once the piping is completely slid out of view and you can't see it anymore that is where the next part of this comes in that that is where you're going to need the exo slam perk and you're going to jump up on top of these holding cubes and then just slam on top of the one it will force it down and then shoot up the one with the actual card and then from there you can just grab it and you have one down the next one we'll talk about here is the executive key card this one is oddly specific it has to be during an infected round there is no other way to do this one it must be during one of the infected rounds as well you must get infected now my actual personal preference for this would be to do it towards the end of the round where it's the latter portions and there aren't as many infected zombies maybe like one two or three with a few straggler regular zombies but what you have to do with this is you have to be infected you have a 60 second countdown so you have to be quick you have to go over there are four panels throughout the room adjacent to the exo revive station it does not matter what order you click these in but you want to go up to them and hold x you'll see that the keypad then turns green that means that it's good and once you hit all four well then the actual security or check-in desk there will be a lever that pops up so that you can see into the actual room and right there will be your card now a little disclaimer for this one if you do actually cleanse yourself of this while trying to do this it is going to reset the progress you have to get infected all over again and then do it all over so it is a 60 second timer to hit four buttons as well as dodge whatever zombies are coming at you so it is a little tricky but that is how you get your second card now next up we're gonna be getting the hack card this one is Lilith's key card this one is very specific as well you need to go over to the 3d printer and firstly get an EM1 out of it now at that point in time you're in the clear I believe that's the toughest part that actually held me up for so long whenever I was attempting to do this so that probably is the toughest part but what you want to do is you want to go over to the printer shoot it and at the same point in time use it and at that point you're not going to be getting a weapon out of the 3d printer but there will then be the key card that that you need for Lilith now the final key card to get is possibly the hardest this one you have to go to the incinerator which is in the trash chute it's pretty actually easier now to get there it's a little bit more understood as to actually how get in now you want to jump back whenever you actually activate the trash chute so that you don't fall in but then it sucks some things in and then when you buy it again it will actually open up and go to the incinerator but that is where the last key card is this one was a mystery for so long but what you have to do is just take a weapon with a 
lot of ammo preferably and just start spraying around on the ground. I have heard that it is in random spots in there every single time the match starts up so just spray on both the right and the left sides and eventually it will pop up and you'll be able to pick it up. Now it's not necessarily in plain view so you want to make sure you're trying to pick it up at the same point in time. Now the final step regarding key cards is once you have those four actually saved up you have to start the next round and the next wave of zombies and in that you'll be able to pick up key cards from the actual zombies. You need 49 total to get to the next part and actually complete it but after that, what you have to do is kill these zombies and then walk over their dead bodies. The majority of them will drop key cards. It is intermittently dispersed. But if you do this at a higher round, it is going to be much tougher on yourself simply because there are a lot more zombies. There are a lot more health as well as the sheer insanity of turning around and trying to pick one up while a horde is coming at you. So it can get a little bit tougher at higher rounds, but that's what you need to do. Now, there's only one step left after this, and that is to go over to one of the biometric scanners in the actual actual testing facility where it all started. There are these biometric scanners scattered throughout the map and I do not believe that it is specific to any character. I think it can be done on any of them. It just needs to recognize you. It'll tell you to sign in if you try and go over to the computers beforehand and complete it. But without this 50th key card or security clearance, you won't be able to do it. Now, once you actually do that, it will prompt you with the following message. Now, after all that is said and done, there is only literally one more thing that you have to do. You have to go all the way back to the exo station where you got your exo suit to begin with. Then you want to go over and then press X on the exo. It'll say that it's already on you and that you have one equipped, but then you should start to hear some music and a helicopter coming in the background. Now, at that point in time, the Easter egg is completed. You can go out to the spawn area, see the helicopter, and watch as it all unfolds. But that is all for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully you guys go hunting now for this achievement. The Easter egg is a lot simpler and a lot shorter than many expected. So hopefully you guys can take some time out and maybe get some of this accomplished. I think it's a really cool thing. The ending wasn't necessarily my favorite, but then again, who am I to really judge? It leads up into the next episode that we'll be getting with the next DLC pack here in Advanced Warfare. Now, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you're you like that, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty events, Warfare content, and any new news and information. You guys know exactly where to find it right here on my channel. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. Thank you so much to my buddy Frexile for the gameplay su supplied to us here so that I could show this off to you guys. And I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.